Hi my friends, the beginners need to find out more details about creating sketches. We begin with the 2D sketches part 1 and the part 2 follows in the next tutorial. Go ahead and enjoy. Let's create this sketch with the, the center in the center point and the presented dimensions as you can see. New standard millimeter CPT XY plane and we draw three circles one two three and now we want to place a dimension to one of them but firstly this is equal to this dimension 20 and now everything disappear and become more greater what happens here it happens that the homotety made this. Here is the definition of homotety and here is a natural presentation of homotety on a street. When we modify the diameter of one circle to a dimension of 20 larger than this, all the three figures or shapes or circles are moving and enlarging to be respected the direction to the center of homotety. We place these two centers on the same horizontal then uh, this on the same horizontal with them the dimension of this can be millimeters but also inch for instance 2 i n can be the dimension here then we use a procedure a special procedure to draw the tangents. I keep press the left button of the mouse and I have the tangent. I find the tangent to the other circle and the line is uh, ready. Again here keep press the left button and go to another point of tangency. Keep press the left button, go here. And the last is this. Then we make equal these two sides and also these two sides. Now we cannot apply equality here. Why? Well, this is because the three circles are aligned. Good. The distance between these two is 80. Now, we have two dimensions needed. That dimensions are the position of one point in the center or a distance from these two points. We have here uh, an option show all degrees of freedom. All of them can be moved but we place this center over this point. Now 
we have no mark of uh, freedom. Let me show you something else. I draw here a circle. I apply that uh, option and you can see that three arrows appears with three dimensions missing. One is the diameter, one dimension disappeared. We can move this uh, circle anywhere, but if we place a dimension from this center and the center point, you see we have only one degree of freedom. If we place also a dimension on this horizontal, all the, the arrows disappear. Good. This is a small example, not important now. We trim this arc, also this arc, we still have fully constrained sketch. Then I trim this and we still have fully constrained sketch, but if I cut this, take a look what happens. There are many possibilities now to modify this because we don't have a dimension there. I apply Ctrl Z and I make this as a construction, but you see all the circle, all this arc, not all the circle is construction. We have to place this segment as a normal line and this as a construction line. To make this we have to cut in two entities this arc. To do this we use the tool split. We select here or here, but if you go down you have to select another point here. We select this and we select this. Then and we make this too. I keep pressed the shift key on the keyboard and I apply construction to make this normal lines. Good. If you want to know more about uh, the inch as a unit, you can see that the distance between uh, these two ends of my finger is 25.4 millimeters. The inch can be used with fractions in Inventor. I'll show you a situation. Here is a notation 2IN, 2 inches. The millimeters value is 50.8. We can modify this value by adding a fraction space 1 slash 8 and we have the new dimension this is the dimension you can always use uh, dimensions in uh, other units by using another template Yes, 
Okay, I hope this uh, discussion about inch is useful for some of you. Another interesting aspect is uh, by using this option and uh, using one of these uh, uh, solutions for presenting uh, dimensions. For instance, expression. This is the first dimension we place in this uh, sketch and its name is D0. Next was D1 with this value and the last was D280 millimeters. If you want to have a precise value you can use this and if you change here to 20.360 and so on you have that value with many uh, figures after point or comma go back to value and you have only two decimals. Okay, we continue with a very interesting procedure in a new part, XY plane. If you use the tool line and you draw a line, you can continue with another one but if you keep pressed the left button of the mouse you can create an arc and you can continue with the line then another arc then another arc more than this you can start the tool line and you can keep press the left button and go somewhere with an arc or from here keep press the left button and draw an arc very interesting another possibility after you draw a line is to keep press the left button and don't go to forward but keep press the left button and go perpendicular on this you can go right here and this point is in the middle of the line this is the diameter of this arc with the same uh, occasion we can make another interesting thing I draw a circle then I use the tool line and now I keep press the left button and I go up you see this uh, line is coincident with this point once again you can start from somewhere and you fill this possibility you see always to the center you can use such uh, things all the time all over you need to create sketches I keep press the left button I go here and back to the other line you have imagination and you can use all these uh, interesting tools let me see what happens if I rotate this you see always this goes to the center 
Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.